It's hard to remember the last time a car was as hyped as the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. For months we've been hearing about all the incredible engineering involved in putting the Demon into production. This is a car with 840 horsepower, no back seat, and the ability to do a 9 second quarter mile. Yet it's a street legal vehicle that pretty much anyone could go and buy from a Dodge dealership. If you've somehow missed the barrage of information Dodge has provided on the Demon, allow me to recap. More than just a hopped up Hellcat, it's a purpose-built drag racing machine. There's a bigger supercharger on its 6.2 litre V8, a massive hood scoop, and even air conditioning to cool all that incoming air. Fill it up with 100 octane race fuel, and along with that 840 horsepower, there's an impressive 770 pound-feet of torque, enough to get to 60 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds. To make sure not a single one of those horsepower goes to waste, Dodge stripped 215 pounds of weight out of this car. The Demon doesn't have a back seat or passenger seat unless you add them as an option, and instead most cars will have a harness bar for racing belts. These 11 inch wide wheels wear thick drag radials specifically designed by Nitto for the Demon. The brakes, while plenty strong, are actually a little bit smaller than on a Challenger Hellcat, all in the name of saving weight. To help you go even faster, you also get a line lock control for doing sweet burnouts like this, plus a trans brake that physically locks the transmission's internals so you can build revs and boost at the starting line. Despite all that, the Dodge Demon is remarkably civilized when driven on public roads. It's actually a little more comfortable than a Challenger Hellcat, because the suspension springs are softer and there's way more sidewall on these tires. The throttle tip-in is very jumpy and the engine is loud all the time, but overall it's not as punishing to drive as you might expect. But let's be honest, that's not why you're watching. The main event took place at Lucas Oil Raceway, where I started off by riding along with some Dodge engineers to learn exactly what I'd need to do to drive safely and quickly down the track. Basic strategy was this. Use the line lock to do a nice big burnout to warm and clean the tires. Then hold the paddle shifters to activate the trans brake, which lets you spin up the supercharger before you launch down the track. Not every attempt went to plan. Too much wheel spin, not enough wheel spin, fumbling the trans brake system starting procedure. It turns out there's a little more to driving this car than just pressing the gas pedal. But finally, after some coaching from driveline engineer Joe Johnson on using everything properly, I got it just right. And when it works, it really works. Both paddles for the trans brake increase engine speed. Oh my god, it's fast. Oh, it's going, that's 100. Oh. Yeah, this car is ridiculous. I think the name Demon is very, very fitting. I may have screwed up using the trans brake the first time, but when I got it right, this thing just explodes off the line. It really moves. It's perhaps not quite as terrifying as I expected it might be, but it's still, a, it's still an intense experience, that's for sure. I just got out of a Demon after doing a couple passes down a drag strip, and it's really hard to put into words how incredible this car is. It's not just how fast it is most of the way down the track, it's the way that it leaves the line, even with someone like me learning to drive it. It definitely makes drag racing and these really intense starts seem relatively easy, but I think what I also learned is that I still have a long way to go before I could get anywhere close to that 9.65 second pass that set a record with this car. The Demon really is a ferocious machine, and if all you want to do is go crazy fast at a drag strip, it's really hard for me to imagine another factory-backed vehicle with a warranty that can do it as well and as efficiently and as fast as this. If you liked this video, be sure to scroll down and click the like button and leave us a comment if you've got any questions about the Demon. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get all of our great video content, not all of which includes burnouts. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at Motor1.com.